This video will serve to orient the new user with the AutoCAD interface. Begin by locating the AutoCAD launch icon on your desktop. You can launch AutoCAD by double-clicking on this icon. Once the program has loaded, it'll bring you to this screen. There are a few key areas to be aware of on this screen. First of all, we have the Get Started area, where you can click on this button to launch a new drawing, or choose this area right here to open existing files. In the middle, we have a Recent Documents area, where you can scroll through and see recent documents that you've worked on and launch them by simply clicking on them. On the right-hand side, we have a Notifications area, where you can get information from Autodesk about possible updates or tips and tricks on how to use the program more efficiently. Below this, we have the Connect area where you can sign in to A360. A360 is an online service area where you can store your drawings. If you click on the Learn button over here on the left, it takes you to an area where you can see what's new in the latest version of AutoCAD, and you can also watch videos on how to use the program. I'm going to begin by clicking on this button. A new blank drawing is created, which will allow us to explore the interface. In the upper left-hand corner, we have the Application menu. The Application menu allows us to do several things, such as begin a new drawing, open an existing drawing, save a drawing, or print a drawing. Right, below, right beside that, we have what we call the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar has several tools on it that are also on the application menu, such as begin a new drawing, open an existing drawing, save a drawing, or print a drawing. Below that, we have what we call the ribbon. The ribbon is the same as is used in several Microsoft applications. It's organized into tabs, located here at the top, panels, and then tools on each panel. So you see we have the Draw panel, the Modify panel, the Annotation panel. AutoCAD has organized the most commonly used tools on the Home tab, but you can choose different tabs based on the workflow that you're currently using. In order to access a tool, you simply click on it here. If you hover over a tool for a moment, you will see that it gives you a tooltip telling you the name of the tool. If you linger for more than about two seconds, it gives you an extended tooltip that gives you more information. Right below that, we have our tabs area. If I click on this first tab, it takes us back to the start area. Clicking on this plus button will create a new drawing similar to creating a button or clicking on the start drawing area here. The big area in the middle is our drawing editor. This is where all the lines, circles, arcs, text, and so on will appear as we're working on our drawings. Down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see the user coordinate system icon. We'll talk more about this in a future video. Right below that, we have what we call the command line. The command line is where AutoCAD talks back to you. And if you're new to AutoCAD, it's likely that your command line will be located like this in the middle of the screen. I suggest you grab the command line, click and hold, and pull straight down so that it fills up the entire bottom of the screen. Then you can adjust the command line history so that you see three lines. Sometimes when you're using AutoCAD, it will give you information on this bottom line where it says type the command, but it will also give you more information in these three lines of history. So it's good to have those up. Right below that, we have our Layout tabs. Right now, we're in the Model tab, and for this class, that's where we're going to stay. So just make sure that, you're chose that this tab is the current tab. On the right-hand side, we have our Status Bar. This is full of tool to, uh, tools to help you draw. For example, the first one here is the Grid Mode. The Grid is this set of graph paper lines that help you to estimate distances and get things lined up. If I click on that button, it turns the grid off, and if I click on it again, it turns it back on. If I right-click on that button, you'll see that it says Grid Settings. I can come in here now 
and I can change the spacing of my grid. It's currently set at 0.5 so that all of the lines on here are half of an inch apart. If I uncheck this box, it will turn the grid off. To create objects in AutoCAD, you'll be using your draw commands. To draw a line, you simply click on the line button. When you begin using a new command, I suggest that you look down here at the command line. This is where AutoCAD will tell you what it wants you to do. So in right now it's asking saying, hey, you started the line command, specify the first point. You can specify points by picking with your mouse or by typing in coordinates. There'll be more information about using coordinates in a future video. For now, I'm just going to draw a triangle by picking three points. Notice that when I come back to the original point, I get a little square that pops up around that original endpoint. That's called an object snap. As soon as that square pops up, if I click with my mouse, it connects it exactly to the endpoint of that line. In order to exit the command, I can either press escape or enter. To draw a circle, you just pick the circle button. The default command, the default circle command, asks you for the center point of the circle. I can pick a point with my mouse, followed by the radius of the circle. I can either specify the radius using my mouse, or I can type in a distance. For example, I'll type in 6 and press enter. Finally, I'm going to use the rectangle command. The rectangle command asks me to specify the first corner point, so I'll pick a point with my mouse, and then a second corner point, I'll pick another point with my mouse. If I want to erase an object, I can go to the Erase command on the Modify panel. After I've chosen the command, my crosshairs turn to a pick box. The pick, spot, pick box will allow me to select objects to be erased. Once I've selected the objects that I want to be erased, I can press Enter to complete the command. Alternatively, I could select the objects first and then choose the command second. This concludes the first video on getting oriented to the AutoCAD interface.